Good morning, children. So today again exercise thirteen point two, question number five. A cylinder diameter is is fifty centimeter in diameter and and then three point five meter in height. Find the cost of painting the curved surface of the pillar at the rate of rupees twelve point twelve point five zero per square meter. Now. Here we have given that a cylindrical pillar is 50 cm in diameter. So the diameter is given 50 cm. This one is given and then the 3.5 meter in height. So here the height is given. So 3.5 meter. One is given in centimeter, this one is given in meter. Find the cost of painting the car surface. So you are going to find out the cost of painting of the pillar, that is the car surface. So they have given cost of painting so cost of painting the the curved surface so just you are going to paint the curved surface at the rate of rupees 12.5 per square meter so now here they have given in square meter so you will convert centimeter to meter so first here 50 centimeter in diameter so solution for a pillar for a pillar so here radius radius so they have given 50 centimeter make it half so you will get 25 centimeter and then you convert it to meter so here they have given the uh, rate they have given the rate rate in square meter that is why you will convert the centimeter to meter for this to divide by 100 so 25 by 100 meter you will get 1 by 4 meter and then the height so height equals to so the height h equals to 3.5 so the height is 3.5 meter meter you can make it fraction that will be more easier so taking in decimal that will be tough to calculate so you just convert it to fraction so now there will be 35 by 10 and by cancelling you will get 5, 7, 5, 2 is a 10. So 7 by 2 meter. Now here they have told that find the cost of painting the curved surface. So you are going to paint only the curved surface. That means this is the this is the curved surface. So just they are going to paint the curved surface of this pillar. Suppose this is a pillar, so they are going to paint only this curved surface. So before finding the cost you are going to find out how much area is there in this curved surface or the lateral surface area of this pillar. So you need to know first the curved surface area of this pillar and then you will find the cost. So now the curved surface, so the curved surface area of pillar. So the same is slender. So you are going to use the formula of cylinder. So the curved surface area of the pillar. So that is given by 2 pi r h. So now calculation. So here radius is given 1 by 4. So by simplification you have converted centimeter to meter and by cancelling you got 1 by 4 meter. That is the radius. So it is 1 by 4 into h so that is the height so height you got 7 by 2 meter so you got 7 by 2 meter square because you're finding area that is why you are finding the area so now here 7 and 7 got cancelled so this 2 and 2 will get cancelled then 2 2 is up. so 2 11 so you got 11 by 2 meter square that means by dividing by 2 you will get 5.5 5 meters square. So this much area is present in the pillar. So now you are going to paint this much area of the pillar. So at the rate, so you are going to paint this much area. Now they have said that the cost of painting the pillar at the rate, at the rate of rupees 12.50 per square meter. So it is per square meter. That means every one square meter, the cost of painting, there will be 12 rupees 50 bytes. So 
So now you are going to pay, so they are going to pay this much area. So to pay this much area, cost will be more. So now cost of painting. So cost of painting. So per square meter, per means one. So one meter square equals to rupees 12.50. So it will be 12.50. Therefore, cost of painting. So now the pay, now the pillar, the outside area is 5.5 meters square. So you so now this much area is going to be painted. So cost of painting 5.5 meters square. As the area is more, so you will do into. So now it will be multiply so 12.50 into 5.5 because the cost has increased equals to rupees so by doing the calculation you will get the cost so it is 12250 into 55 so now so here the point will move after three visit because there is a point so there is a visit before the point and there is there is two visit before the point so so the point will move after three visit so two and there is one three visit so it will be one two three that that means the total cost is sixty eight point eight zero five that means eighty one five There is a mistake. Five zeros are zero, five is a twenty-five, eleven, twelve, six. So it will be zero, it will be five, then two. So so it will be now zero. So your sixty-eight point eight zero. Sixty-eight point seven. Seven five. So sixty-eight point seven five. Seven five. So this is your answer. Question number seven. The inner diameter, the inner diameter of a circular wheel, circular wheel is three point five meters. So it is three point five, three point five meter. It is ten meter deep. Find the find. So number one, find its inner curve. So, so find its inner. So curve surface area. So inner curve surface area. And the cost of plastering. Cost of plastering. Plastering the curve surface. The curve surface the curve surface at the red at the red red of rupees 40 per square meter so per square meter so now the the inner diameter of a circular well. So now here, this is circular well. So the shape is going to be a cylinder. So if I take, supposing beneath the art, you have dark one well. So the shape will be of this type beneath the art. So now the shape is going to be a cylinder. Assuming that this is a well inside the art. So now the inner diameter. So the Inner means this one, inner diameter. So this is the outer, outer diameter of the well. So now they are going to, they have given the inner diameter of the circular well. That means this is the inner circle. 
and this is the outer circle. So for the inner circle, they have used the inner diameter. So the diameter is given 3.5 meter. It is 10 meter deep. So the depth of the well, depth of the well, so it is the height, this is given 10 meter. Find its inner curved surface area. That means you are going to find the, that is the inner surface area. That means the sh shape is the curved one. That is why the inner curved surface. That means you are going to find the area of this part. That is the inside part. <coughs> then the, find the cost of clustering the curved surface at the rate of <coughs> rupees 40 per square meter. So now, then they are going to plaster this well inside. So you are going to find out the cost of plastering the, the curved surface, that is this surface. So at the rate of rupees 40 per square meter, that is cost of plastering one square meter. So per meter square means one square meter cost of plastering inside, it will be 40 rupees. So by finding how much area is there, then you are going to find out the total cost. So first you are going to find the inner CSA. That is the inner curved surface area or the inner lateral surface area. Because the curved surface is also called the lateral surface area. So one. For a well. Well. So inner radius they have given the diameter so it will be inner radius inner radius so let it be small r equals to so it is given the diameter is 3.5 meter so the diameter is given 3.5 meter so it will be half of this 3.5 by 2 meter so you make it fraction remove this point before the point there is a digit so here there will be one zero will come. Now cancel by five, five, seven, five, four. You got seven by four meter. Seven by four meter. Then the depth, depth means the height of the well. So it is the depth, depth divided by h. It is the height. So equals to ten meter. Now number one, number one, they have told to find its inner curved surface area. So the inner curve, inner curved surface area of the well, inner curved surface area of the well of the well. So this one is given by two pi r h because the shape is slender. So now calculation. Radius, radius you got 7 by 4. So in place of R, it will be 7 by 4. Then height, height is 10 meter. So you will write 10. Then since you are finding the area, so curved surface area, so you will write meter square. Meter square. So 7, 7 cancel. So 2 into 2, 4. 2 into 4, 5, 10. Then 2 into 1, 2. So you got. 22 into, into 5, you have got 110 meters. So, this much curved surface area is there inside the well. Now, they are going to cluster this much area because this is the curved surface area of the well. So, find the cost of clustering this curved surface. So, they are going to cluster this curved surface, that is this much area, at the rate of rupees 40 per square meter, that is 1 square meter cost of clustering will be 40 rupees. So to cluster this much area, the cost will be more. So now number two, cost of clustering one meter square is equal to rupees, rupees 40. Therefore, cost of clustering, clustering 110 meter square. So the cost will be more multiplied. So it will be 40 into 110. So the area is more multiplied. 
So you will get rupees, you will get 4, 4, so 11, 4, the 44, and then the two zeros at the end. So this is your answer. So here they have given clearly that you are going to find the inner CSA. So the formula is 2 pi RH because the shape of the well will be a slither. Then second one, find the cost of clustering the curved surface at the rate of rupees 40 per square meter. So you have found out the cost of the clustering at this rate. That means for every one square meter, the cost of clustering is rupees 40. So the cost of clustering this much area inside the well, so the cost will be more, that is why you have multiplied. So you got this much. This is your answer. Let us take question number 8. In a hot water heating system, heating system, there is a slim irrigal pipe, pipe of land. Pipe of land 28 meter and diameter diameter 5 centimeter 5 centimeter find the total radiating surface find the total radiating radiating surface surface in the System in the system. So now here in a in a hot water heating system, there is a cylindrical pipe of length 28 meter and then diameter is 5 centimeter. So this one is given in meter. This one is given in meter and this one is given in centimeter. So now find the total radiating surface in the system. Now here they have said that this is a cylindrical pipe. So suppose you take that this is a pipe. So this is the pipe. Now from here water will come from one side, it will get heated heated at this part, that means inside, that means radiation is going to be there and then from the other side the water will go out. So now in a hot water heating system, so that means heating, so here the system is going to heat the means water, so there is a cylindrical pipe of length 28 meter and then the diameter is 5 centimeters, so find the total radiating surface in the system. So that means you are going to find the amount, that is the area where the water is going to get heated. That is that part where the water is going to get the radiation. That is the radiating surface. So that means the surface will be the curved surface area. Because this is a cylindrical pipe, water is going to enter through this pipe and here by this, by this surface it is going to get heated. So that is why you are going to find only the, the curved surface area because if I just unfold it, you will get it a rectangle shape. If I just fold it and then making it curve, you will get the shape of a cylinder. So since this is a cylindrical pipe of length 28 meters, so th th this is the height 28 meter and of diameter 5 centimeter. So th this is the diameter of this pipe. So now they have said find the total radiating surface in the system. What part of the 
surface is going to get heat is going to make the water hot so that is this part of the this part of the surface so that is the curve so that is why you are going to find the curved surface area so that, that is given by 2 pi r h so find the total radiating surface in the system so that is why here you are not going to count anything else you are only going to count the inner curved surface area why because only this part of the system is going to radiate then is going to give the heat and to make the water hot that is why you are going to find the inner curved surface so this part So here solution. So for a cylindrical pipe. So here the length there is the height. Length means the height. So your height equals to 28 meter. We will find out the answer in meter, not in centimeter. So the diameter is 5. So radius, you take radius radius r equals to so half of the diameter so it will be 5 by 2 it will be centimeter so because you get 2.5 centimeter you can convert it to meter because this one is given in meter so to convert centimeter to, to meter so you know it you are to divide by 100 100 so here if I remove this point, then one more zero will go to the denominator. So that will be thousand. So this will be forty. So it will be one by forty meter. So here the radius is one by forty meter. Now, therefore, total radiating surface, total radiating area of the pipe equals to so this means the the curved surface area of the pipe of the pipe so this one is given by 2 pi r h 2 pi r h so equals to 2 into 22 by 7 into r that is the radius radius is given 1 by 40 meter so 1 by 40 into h that is the height 28 so it is going to be 28 meter square because you're finding the area then you cancel so 7 4 zero. then 4 into 1 4 10 zero. so you got 2 into 22 40 4 by 10 equals to 4.4 meters square so the total radiating area is 4.4 meters square so to get so the pipe is a uh, cylindrical one and there is a hollow one that is why now here the system is going to make the water hot so the part of the surface that is going to heat the water inside that is the curved surface area of the pipe that is why you have used the formula of the curved surface area which is given by 2 pi r h so you got 4.4 meters square so this much for today thank you